So this next video is me giving you a synopsis of um, the things I thought was interesting from Gold DDM's readings of Amorosa's book Unhinged. Now, why did I think this was important? I thought this was important because um, though um, I believe Amorosa to be self-serving, um, I do feel her information is valuable and I do feel her information is truthful. Um, so that's the whole reason why um, I took the time to listen to GD to um, DDM's uh, readings. But so here are just my notes from his readings. Um, I would say take the time out to listen to them. Um, they're really interesting and he is really interesting. Uh, but if you don't have the time, here are my notes of all the things that just made my eyebrows raise and my melanin tingle when I heard them. Hey, it's Brooklyn. So I spoke briefly about um, Amorosa's book, Unhinged. Um, I learned about it through Gold DDM. Um, he did this amazing readings of her book. He read like the political parts of her book. Um, it, it's amazing. I'm going to add the link below. Um, feel free to listen to his readings of the book. But I took a few notes. And for those who don't want to hear the whole book, I really wanted these points to come through. These are things that I didn't know, which I thought was really, really interesting. Okay. Um, so basically his show is called Secretary of Shade. And so basically I did this in order of his shows, right? So this was his first show, um, the things that I learned. Um, Rosa believes that she was fired because of the N-word tape. Supposedly there's a tape going on about Trump, um, from the apprentice days where he was calling people niggas and all kinds of stuff. All right. Um, she knew Donald Trump for almost 20 years, um, by the time he started, he ran for president. Um, and from the way Amorosa wrote about Hope Hicks, it seems that she didn't really like her very much. Um, the reason that, um, they gave her for being fired was because she abused the car service on a date where she used that car service for that baseball game. Remember somebody had got shot and then it was a baseball game coming up and they all went to the game to, you know, to not let the terrorists win that type of thing. Yeah. So that was that game. Um, they, they said she abused the car service on that date. Anyway, um, Armorosa is the queen of cover your ass. Yo, let me tell you something. She needs to teach a class to all black people on how to cover your ass in a corporate setting. Because I see why she's been able to do the things that she does. Because she is the queen, okay, of cover your ass. Um, Armorosa works in the White House under the Al Gore administration and then the Bill Clinton and then as Bill Clinton's personnel office on the last year of his presidency. Did you know Armorosa worked in the White House before? I didn't know that. Um, Armorosa was fired in the Situation Room by General Kelly during the Christmas party. The Christmas party where she supposedly showed her whole behind. She was never even there. Hmm. Um, they wouldn't let her leave the room and they cleared all the hallways of witnesses when she asked to go to her office to get her stuff. Mm. What I remember the most about the news covering, um, her being fired in that whole, they tried to say that, you know, she showed her whole behind at the Christmas party. I remember April Ryan going in heavy on her talking about the report said this and the report said that. I'm just saying, I just remember that. I'm just saying but supposedly that never happened because of Amorosa didn't release the tape. So we know that that never even happened. I'm just saying. Um, uh, the Secret Service put out a tweet denying that the Christmas party story ever even happened. And they didn't have no pictures and they didn't have no video. Do y'all remember that? I do. Um, Amorosa said something that's very interesting. She said that if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Speaking like if you're not in the room when, you know, these people are making these decisions, then they're going to eat you for lunch. You know what I'm saying? You need to be at the table. That's an interesting quote. Um, She got paid to the end of January 20th of that, that year she got fired, the next year after she got fired. So she couldn't speak out on it against the administration because she was still on payroll. Um, She went on Celebrity Big Brother right after she got fired because she feared for her life. And she figured it would be safer, that she would be safer under 24-hour surveillance, three live shows a week. Yo, Armorosa is a genius. She felt like they couldn't kill her if she was on TV or they couldn't do nothing to her because she was on. Yo, that, she's brilliant. She's brilliant. You got to give it to She's brilliant. 
So that was everything I learned from show one, okay? So I'm going to break these down by his shows because that's pretty much how I learned the information. His shows was amazing. Um, once again, his name is G-O-D-D-M. And these are just my notes that I find really, really interesting. And I think um, as the shows go on, I think you're going to find them interesting too. You know, just a couple of seconds to, to learn a little something that you ain't know before. 